I have a lot of people to bond with. I think I have uh, some messages I need to do as well. So first you're a hero, then you're a traitor. You might be fine with that, you're tell, but I'm not. What's the matter, Hanabi? Why are you sighing? Did something happen? Oh, Yuito. No, it's nothing. Come on, you can tell me. We've known each other since we were kids. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. So, the other day when I was battling an other, I accidentally burned a building that was nearby, and Gemma scolded me. He said that my control of my powers was rough, and I'd eventually end up hurting those I need to protect. He doesn't mince words. He's right, though. I wasn't paying enough attention. Gemma asked me what I wanted to be as a member of the OSF, and to think hard about what I'm fighting for. The thing is, I still can't picture what I want to strive for. Right. You did mention that you never thought about what you wanted to do in the OSF. Yeah. And the things we've seen since joining, you know, the suspicious secrets and inhumane experiments, just awful things that ruined that image I had of the OSF as a kid. That's true. After finding out that the organization we're in caused a lot of suffering to so many people, I can't picture anything positive when someone asks me what I want to fight for as a member of the OSF. I understand that feeling of disappointment, finding out this isn't the organization you thought it was. But you're the one who's out there fighting. You just need to figure out what you're fighting for as an individual, not as part of the OSF. My reason for fighting... I'm not sure if I have one. I bet you'll come up with something if you think about it. I mean, if there's no reason, then why have you been fighting by my side all this time? It's because you... I what? N nothing I'll try thinking about it some more. Okay, but there's no rush. I'm always here if you want to talk. Thanks. It's not like me to doubt myself like this. Feeling sad won't change anything. All right. I'm going to find a reason to fight. Yeah, that's the spirit. Thanks for cheering me up. You were always cheering me up when we were kids, so it's my turn now. You don't owe me anything, but I'm happy to hear you say that. Thanks for listening. Sure. Just let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Don't worry. I will. You're always so kind. I don't think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. Oh, I, um... Don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see. Okay, and there was a combo vision. Shinobi attacks around her. Recently, I've been thinking how much I've gotten to know you. Me too. I thought I already knew you, but I keep finding something new. Huh. There he is. There's a strong possibility that Nagi will attack again in that condition. Huh. Hey, Gamma. Are you free right now? Do you want to go somewhere with me again? Hmm. Gemma? Hmm? Sorry, I was just thinking. Is something the matter? I'm here if you need to talk. Yeah, maybe I should talk to someone. One of my friends who retired from the OSF has gone missing. Are there any leads? I first learned about it when I got a message from his younger brother. We hadn't talked in a while. He asked me if I might have any ideas, but I couldn't give him any. I was just wondering what to do now. I can see why you're worried. Is there anything I can do? 
No, I can't trouble you with this. It's a personal problem. But I want to help. Why don't you just tell me what you can? It couldn't hurt. Hmm. Thank you. I'll take you up on that. The friend who went missing was an old classmate, and then we worked together in the same platoon when he was still in the OSF. But as the years went by, the anti-aging medication's effects weakened, and his body began to age. It's something all children of the state have to face eventually, but he reached his limit sooner than me. His powers waned as he aged, and fighting became too difficult. He retired this past spring. I see. I'm glad he managed to retire safely and not get hurt or die. Yeah, but children of the state face a tough situation after retirement. The body ages normally after they stop taking the medication, but the abuse their brains sustained over so long a time is significant. Many retired soldiers deal with various issues, stemming from their body's changes exacerbating their brain's fatigue. It's that tough for them? Can't they treat that with medication? I hear there are many who receive treatment, but it's not easily cured. If it becomes prolonged, it also affects the patient psychologically. Do you think your friend wasn't feeling well after retiring? Yeah, he was tired, physically and mentally. I tried my best to stay in touch after he left, but after a while he just kept asking me about the OSF and my missions. It seemed like he wanted to come back. He missed his old job after having trouble adjusting to retirement. I mean, he was with the OSF for decades after all. It's tough to instantly change your life. He never wanted to retire to begin with. Those who can no longer fight will never be able to return to the OSF. Hmm. I decided to distance myself from him, so he can finally move on from the military and build a new life for himself. I didn't reply to his messages or meet up with him. Looking back now, I was probably too harsh. His brother said it was cold of me to cut off all contact like that. <laughs> I can't blame his brother for saying that. It might be my fault he disappeared. Maybe I pushed him away when he needed me the most. You did it for your friend's sake. You can't blame yourself for that. For now, you should do what you can. Have you tried calling your friend? No, I haven't reached out to him yet. Then try messaging him. Even if you don't know where he is, it should reach him if he's safe. Maybe he's just waiting for you to contact him. You're right. Waiting here won't get me anywhere. I'll take your advice and do whatever I can. There's no reply. He might need time to notice the message. Let's wait a little longer to see if it reaches him. Or it reached him, but he's not planning to reply. There's no way for us to know. Back when we were in the OSF together, we could easily brain talk with each other and had GPS to know our location. Yeah, that's not available since he retired. He has to go through the trouble of accessing a terminal. I can't really relate how inconvenient things are after you retire. But he must have been going through a lot. Yeah. Why don't you keep messaging him and wait to see what happens for now? I'll see if there's anything else we could do. I'm glad for your help. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Okay. Poor Gemma. I never really thought about what people do after they retire. Is there anything more I can do? I know. The OSF database could have information on Gemma's friend. <sighs> the data's locked. I guess that's not a surprise. Wataru, you got a sec? Yo, what's up? There's an OSF matter I want you to look into whenever you're free. OSF. So, information that can't be found through official channels. Okay, send me the info. I'll look into it. Thanks, Wataru. I hope we find a lead on Gemma's friend. Gemma, have you gotten a little bigger? Hmm, have I? My training has been going well lately. Wow, did you have a change of heart or something? It's a little embarrassing, but I don't want you to get better than me. You can laugh at me for being a silly old man. Damn. Let's see. Negation and combo vision. 
to all status. Ooh, finally. Using, okay, enables a combo vision. Which come up farms. Oh, oh, that's right. I haven't been using that. I'll be there to back you up. Don't let anything get in your way. It's comforting to hear you say that. Yep. Hmm. I think that's the messages that replied to us as well. Oh, wait. Got some messages. Arashi. Oh. And Shiden too. Or Shiden. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. Hm. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems, or give them some advice. I see. We'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuito? What? <laughs> I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like, my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. <clears throat> I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. <clears throat> I understand your confusion. <clears throat> Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? That's I would, but brother. he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed yeah. to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty uh, cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. Okay. Now it's on to sheet it. You're late again, but it's fine. I forgive you. Uh, thanks. So, what do you want? I have some things to say about the way you fight. The way I fight? Yeah. I've seen you fight many times, and you have a lot of wasted movement. I do. You're no Hello. longer a cadet. If you want to call yourself an OSF soldier, don't just flounder around. 
On the battlefield, you need to always be reading your enemy's movements and consider your next move. Use your brain. So he calls me here to criticize me? Huh. What the hell is he thinking? Okay. Hey, are you listening? I'm spending my precious time on you here. Hang on. I don't really know what's going on. Why did you want to talk? Because you helped me before, however slightly. I'm returning the favor by giving you some advice. That was advice? It sounded a lot like you were making fun of me. What? You can leave if you don't want my advice. I thought you'd want to get stronger. He's annoying, but he has been in the OSF longer than me. If he really wants to help, I guess I'll listen. All right, I'm all ears. A wise decision. You can't win without hard work. Though I'm sure that doesn't make sense to someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Okay. I can't stop with the insults. Jeez. I bet he doesn't have any friends. Back to the subject. I told you to read your enemy's movements, but it must be hard for an inexperienced rookie to do that. Instead of relying on hazy knowledge, it's better to work on reaction time and calm decision-making skills. I see. Unfortunately, you lack both right now. Ah. It's a miracle you're still alive. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> was it incredibly good luck, or was it your teammates? If you don't want to die young, you need to get better. I listened to you, and all you did was insult me. You hate my guts. Any reason why? What? I go out of my way to help you, and you think that's an insult? Come on, that last bit was definitely an insult. Fine. I'll tell you if you really want to know. I haven't liked you since the first day I met you. Since I was scouted, I worked for years to get strong. I've been near death more times than I can count. How could I like someone who was born in the Sumeragi family and pampered his whole life? Who my family is doesn't matter. I'm my own person. No matter what you think of yourself, everyone else only sees the Sumeragi boy. That... that may be true, but... That's why everyone was prejudiced against me. Even though I worked so hard. But if I say that, Shiden will have a field day with it. Uh. If you don't like it, you have to become strong enough to surpass your name. But if you can't listen to advice, it'll be impossible. The fact that a volunteer soldier like you made it into Captain Seto's platoon had to have been because of your family connections. What? Another thing I hate is those dolls you guys collect. That little packin' or whatever. What's cute about such a weird little thing? What? There are some things you just don't say. It's Baki, not Packin. That's rude to Baki. What's with you anyway? You're just spewing insults now. What? You're the one who complained when I was just trying to give you advice. That wasn't advice. It was just nagging and insults. I've had enough. I'm out of here. Fine. What's with him? Did he actually think that was advice? It's like he's made of insults. Next time he calls me, I just won't show up. Give this to him. Hey, I'm grateful. Oh, I hear it tastes better than longer <laughs> ages. Then I'll have to save it until I can drink it. Deep. All right. Hmm. There she is. Wow, I'm so happy. Sports really are fun, Yuto. Why don't we have a game sometime? Alright, let me 
to the next phase. I'm tired. I should rest a while. Do you guys have a minute? We need to talk about what we should do next. We were talking about either going to Togetsu or Seiron. Yeah, but I don't think there's much difference between Seiron and New Himuka. Especially when I think about those ampules. That's why I'm thinking about reaching out to Togetsu. Does that mean our only option is defecting to Togetsu? No, we're not just going to be running away. I have no idea what kind of place it is, after all. All I know is that it's an independent religious state, and that they may have information Suo and Seiron don't. Unlike my father and brother, I've grown up not knowing what this government... what this country is really like. Even now, there's probably more I don't know about this place than I do. That's why I want to find out. I just want to do whatever gives us the best chance to learn something new. What do you guys think? I agree. The hideout might be safe, but nothing would change if we just sat here and held our breath. Besides, Togetsu's isolation means a lower chance of being attacked by Suo or Kasane on Seiron's behalf. I... don't know what kind of place it is, but it might be worth checking out. I don't mean to make this a case of process of elimination, but I doubt we can get any more information from Suo or Seiron. Besides, as someone looking to uncover this country's secrets, I'm intrigued by Togetsu. It might also give me a chance to learn my brother's true intentions. Actually, there is something I remember about Togetsu. A while back ago, my uncle had mentioned about a deal he had made with them for work. You mean... The OSF hospital? Yeah. Even though it's an independent city, they apparently have normal business transactions. What is it that they were dealing? I think he said food and medical supplies, although I'm not sure if it's still going on to this day. It's likely that there's more to the deal than that. If the OSF hospital is involved, it will surely be connected to power research or metamorphosis technology. Is it just me? Or does Togetsu seem a little fishy? We have to accept a certain level of danger. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks for remembering something so important, Hanabi. We'll be able to keep an eye out for that now. You're coming, right? To Togetsu? I mean... Of course. Whatever deals my uncle had with them have nothing to do with me. And if they're doing something bad, we'll just take them out. I'm not sure we should go there looking to pick a fight. Figuratively speaking. <laughs> I'm glad you'll be coming with this, Hanabi. You make people feel so... warm inside. What? Really? Like, I set the mood for the group? More like Togetsu is in the middle of snow-covered mountains. What? You're after my pyrokinesis? <laughs> well, Commander, I guess we know our platoon's goal now. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's move out. Our next destination is Togetsu. God, fourteen thousand. 
Or the dirt can put your It's split. Take down the real one and the dummy will disappear. You can help figure it out. I'm using the Are those ice system. statues around us? They're shaped weird. Yeah. Apparently they're alterations of the snow and ice. They don't know what causes them, but they occur in snowy areas where others are. Huh. Leave it to me! Come on! Scrokinesis would be nice. change out my character as well okay uh, I don't think I'll need to teleport I'll more need defense so like they don't get hurt too often good job taking the initiative watch out for electric you won't be able to move if you're electric still get better Might be the path that we should be taking. Here we go. That must be a sweet spot. I need you, Gemma. Oh, 
Using Luca's teleportation would make this easier. Really, his teleportation? for once. It's the four, all right. We've been walking for a long time. Wataru, how much farther to Togetsu? Quite a while. You're not even halfway there. God damn. It really is in the middle of the mountains. Are you okay, Luca? Yes, I'll manage. These steep paths, though, they're hard for someone as small as I am. Get behind me. I can at least block the wind. 
Thank you. I should really start training like you do. Togetsu is the home of the Faith's main temple. Do you know what kind of religion it is? Apparently it's kind of like a cult. That's what I heard at least. For their main temple this far from civilization, it's only normal to assume they'd be ascetics in tune with nature. Let's see, the Togetsu Faith. Ah, here we go. It's a moon-worshipping religion. One of their tenets is that moon. the soul will return to the moon. The founder is Hitoyo Pope. The religion has a long history, but it looks like they've always lived quietly in the mountains here. You would think the fact that Nuhimuka allows them to govern themselves must mean that they aren't that big. I'm sure Kagero knows a lot more. He was a Togetsu believer, after all. Did he tell you anything, Sugumi? No. Kagero... He didn't talk much about the Togetsu faith. Oh. Well, they have a unique lifestyle there, but they're not totally cut off from us. I don't think they'll turn you away at the gate. That's what former Major General Karin said. We probably won't be welcomed with open arms, but I hope they'll at least listen to us. Okay, just a little farther to Togetsu. A little bit further. <clears throat> this is a long way. From 1300, that's the longest I've ever seen. reading near here. What do you want to do? I'll warm us up with my pyrokinesis. <sighs> Sorry. A sustained burn really tires me out. Don't get burned! <sighs> That's enough of that. Yeah. This is more of a her. Let's take a lot of her. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get on Shell breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. I can hit it! It exists, Yuito! I'm always going over there. That other shell is quite hard. Attack it with something heavy by using psychokinesis. Oh. 
Ilito. That last attack finished it. Hey, look at that. I can go anywhere I want on my hoverboard. Here. 